Hello, Lounge Posting. Welcome to part three of the mid-season interviews. Here we have a special guest. Can you introduce yourself for me, please? Can you introduce yourself for me, please? Excuse me, sorry. Um, hey, it's me. My name is Eric, um, also known as uh, the Big Fishmonger. Okay, well, thank you for joining me, Eric. I am excited to have you on here. Um, yeah, it's great to be here. Yeah, I bet it is. Okay, let's let's start let's start talking Pokemon now. Okay, so let it's the halfway point of the season. How are you feeling about the Pokemon League so far? Well, can I be honest with you, man? You can be a hundred percent honest. No, no judgment whatsoever. All right. Well, I'm gonna do my best to uh to avoid spoiling like everybody else. But um, you know, I came into this league thinking I'd have a perfect record. You know, maybe maybe being a little full of myself, but you know, I, I had high hopes. And uh, it seems that every turn, things only you know never go my way. But it's never my fault. It's always RNG. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. Okay, it's always the numbers. The game is against me. Okay, you understand? You know, I, I could say the exact same thing. I understand where you're coming from. But you know what? We can't always blame everything on RNG. You know, that's where we my have to My play just... is superior. My performance is superior. My preparation is superior. See, I, I think my... that's just very cocky of you to say, Eric. I mean, what makes you say that? Well, I mean, to get down to the brass tacks, I, I feel like I've got the experience that some of these some of these people just don't even come close to you know i've been i've been in the scene for for longer than some of these guys have been alive so it's it you know it, it hurts a little bit you know yeah no i i i can see where you're coming from yeah but you know if i if i'm being honest the stats don't lie and you know you you're you've lost one game already you know so i mean <laughs> are you really the best you know if you're if you haven't had a perfect record you know you can't be kind of saying Blame it all on RNG, you know. Well, if memory serves me right, when we're done with the uh, this first stage of the uh, draft, there is going to be a final tournament bracket between all of us. And uh, well, let's just let the winner of that um, confirm my suspicions. Okay, so so we're waiting until the finale to get this all settled down and see who's the best. Okay, so. Of course. Okay, so so talk to me because you're a Pokemon master, obviously. Uh, just talk to me about like your strats, kind of going into this, how that changed after the draft. Um, like your mindset going into this, and like has anything changed from the beginning to the midpoint of the season? Well, the main thing that I found out is there are a few clear holes in my team that I'm trying to work on patching. Um, you know, during the draft, during the heat of the draft with, you know, your picks getting taken by other people, I, I was usually one of the last people to get to pick anyways. So definitely, um, you know, picking from scraps. So I'm very happy with my team, but... um, Yeah, that darn you know, RNG that you keep blaming, you know? <laughs> oh, okay, Josh. Well... I, I'm not I'm and, I'm not biased whatsoever, you know. But keep going, keep going. Okay. All right. Well, anyways. Um so I think I've been talking about this, but my team was pretty weak on the special defense side and I I have a pretty glaring electric type weakness. Um so things things like that that I'm trying to work on through uh through trades. But um I think at this point my strategy has stayed mostly the same since the beginning and i mean i'd like to think that even though it's pretty predictable at this point people know what they're what they're getting into when they go against me um it's still quite a lot to take uh to, it's still quite a lot to handle um i try to maximize as much damage as i can um and if you watch any of the replays you can see i'm i'm getting some pretty powerful heavy hitters in most of the games yeah, absolutely. Um, you've been planning pretty far ahead. Um, so do you like it where it's 
the draft and you can kind of see who you're facing off against? Does that help a lot? Does that like go into a lot of oh, yeah. planning? Oh yeah. Having um I don't know about some of the other players, but um knowing who I'm going against and being able to predict what team they're gonna bring is already pretty fun. But then that means I get to hunker down with a damage calculator and perfectly craft a team meant to dissect theirs um as efficiently as possible. So I don't know about everybody else, but my preparation for these games gets pretty um pretty intimate. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, something I've noticed and you can kind of talk about this, you've been using uh consistently Iron Hand, Gengar, Slowbro. Talk talk to me about why those have been a staple so far. Um in your lineup, Iron um, Hands, Gengar, Slowbro. Yeah, th those three Pokemon have been very consistent uh, for you, um, and you've been consistently bringing them. Is there a reason for that, or just because they're just cool-looking Pokemon? No, thanks for asking me that question. I'm glad you asked that. So, I think it all starts with um, Iron Hands, which, if you look at the tier lists, is currently ranked as a underused borderline. Um, so that meant for the draft, I had to sacrifice an overused pick just for Iron Hands. Now, that wasn't some fluke. That wasn't some mistake. That was deliberate. Of everything I drafted, Iron Hands was the one thing I had my eyes set on. Now, most people look at a Pokemon like that and think, all right, one trick pony. It hits things really hard and it's kind of slow. <laughs> That's about it. And to that, I say yes, but it hits things the hardest. There is nothing else in the game right now that hits things harder than Iron Hands can. If I get an electric terrain up, if I get a sword dance up, good luck. Iron Hands is a behemoth. Um, so my whole, I mean, at least for my first couple games, my whole strategy pretty much revolves around getting Iron Hands in and doing as much work as possible as quickly as I can, and then trying to rinse and repeat. To that point, that's where Slowbro comes in. Slowbro, you know, one of my favorite Pokemon. At the very beginning, you know, it's the uh, super bulky. It um, future sight makes my opponent play on their toes. Getting, you know, they don't want to switch around that. It has passive recovery with leftovers and re regenerator. Um, so Slowbro gives me this bulky pivot I can use to get Iron Hands into the game. Um, same thing if I want to use Trick Room to make Iron Hands a speed demon. Um, so my the the idea is my team members all kind of work together to support each other and are just the fastest, strongest things I could find on the list. They're all meant to kind of work in conjunction to um I guess help each other out. Um Gengar does something very similar. Gengar you usually see it being like nasty plot and just using Shadow Ball and trying to kill as many things as it can. But if you've watched my games, you can see Gengar is usually used for utility more than anything um because of its speed and just huge move pool so that's kind of my my mindset with these pokemon is trying to get as much out of them as i can um and not just going for uh raw attacks with everything yeah and and you know that's that's very interesting you know using gengar for utility um because normally people would use gengar as a way to, as a fast special attacker so it's definitely a different you know change of pace for Gengar um but it's good for your team especially revolving around Iron Hands um so you've kind of touched on this what's your favorite Pokemon that you've been building my favorite Pokemon that I've been building like what's, um, your, what's your favorite Pokemon like consistently just using or like every time you play um that you've just had fun playing non-stop like you bring it in and it's like the best thing well I mean, I already kind of touched on this, but I don't think I've had a single game where Iron Hands didn't knock out um, at least a couple Pokemon. That thing, getting that on the field feels great. Um, like, I, you know, I won't touch on any games that haven't happened yet, that don't have videos covering them, but there's just something about predicting an earthquake and going for a Terra Flying or looking for a sweat opportunity. Feel me with so much dopamine that it, it's hard to, to hurt. 
Oh, Eric, Eric you're kind, just getting you're into my kind of opponent. You're, cut, you're cutting out there, oh, buddy. My, my bad, my bad. Uh, how much did how much did you miss? Uh, uh, I missed quite a bit. Why why don't you start from um, what is it? Bringing out the Iron Hands, Terra Flying, Earthquake. Oh yeah, well, pretty much just you know, there's nothing that fills my my brain with more dopamine than acting like a little parasite burrowing into my opponent's brain and knowing exactly what they're going to do. And for a focus punch, and just using Iron Hands's raw power to you know make these small predictions um turn into massive game-changing pl uh plays yeah you know um speaking of small parasite um listen there's this i i think it was you you sent me you said you'd build me a pokemon team and i was very offended by the pokemon team you sent me your you, pokey your pokey the Pokemon team you sent me, because you said you'd build me a team, it said, Josh has hairy, stinky, slimy balls. And, th you know, that wasn't very nice of you to do that. Can I can I interject here? You know what? You may. I'll allow it. For those, for those of you at home, um, or too lazy to look at our schedule, um, you would know that Josh and I are playing later this week. And before our game, Josh was begging crying to me, trying to get me to use only my bottom six Pokemon. Mind you, most of those are water types against his bottom six Pokemon, which include a powerful electric type. Um, I was tr He was trying to manipulate me into using my bad Pokemon in a terrible matchup against him so he could win. So when I offered to make him a team, it was my way of saying, um, no way, man. Uh, not a chance. You know what? I, you know what? I think... That either way, you could have built me a somewhat decent team in five or, minutes. In five, I can't, you I can't make five, you. A, you said five minutes. That's I can't make you, you a good team in five minutes. What do you mean? I can't make you. No one. You can do that are lying on literally. On, no you're one lying can make to it. the people and not saying the honest truth. You are a <laughs> scammer. You about. are a scammer, sir. I. How it's only dare a scam you? if you paid me. If you paid me, I'd listen actually make here. you a good team. Listen here. This is the news, okay? We tell oh. nothing but the truth. Oh. How dare you? How dare you corrupt this news network that I have yeah. built from nothing? You know, uh, you just... Josh, 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 yeah. Josh, Josh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. You know, you got you got my Venmo, all right? Let me let me 20 bucks. All right, I'll get you a good team. I'll get you a team. Don't worry. All right? Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Fine. Just don't, just don't tell him. Just don't tell him. Okay. 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 Fine. 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 Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Really? Yeah, I'll throw the game too. Whoa. If you if you throw in, if you throw in fifty, I'll throw the game. Really? Actually? Like legit? No. What? I will make you a team though. This is this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Eric is nothing but a liar. He says empty promises and doesn't fulfill them. You know what? I'm I'm kind of done with this interview, but you know what? I'll I'll let you have one final say. Any call outs you wanna have? Any like people you wanna call out before I end this interview? Cause you know what? I'm I'm kind of tired of hearing you ramble on. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got I got a couple call outs. Okay. <clears throat> the floor is yours. All right, uh, f uh first and foremost, I'd like to uh to call out Jake. All right. So um, Jake's actually really good. Um, that he's doing really good this season, but he keeps winning. All right, and someone's got to do something to stop it. Okay, his his brain is too fragile for his ego to get this big, and with all these wins, something's gonna happen. And I'm afraid. I'm afraid he's gonna collapse with 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 all this pride building up in his head. So someone's got to put a stop to this. All right. I totally agree on this. We can agree also, on that. All right. Now, my other call outs, you know, I want to, you know, there's no video for this yet. I just had a game with Kyle, though, and I just want to, I just want to say, all right, um, it was a good game, Kyle. It was a good game. You know, uh, yeah. uh, some, some things, some things probably could have gone uh, differently in both of our, uh, both of our favors, but, uh, you know, I, I, I got, I got to, uh, I got to say, you know, you, you put up a good fight. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah, one more. Okay, one more. Josh. 
I'm coming after you, man, this week. You know, you better get a box of tissues by by your by your laptop, man. All right. Listen, I'm already <laughs> I'm already on a I'm already on a losing streak, okay? You know what? I'm not gonna cry anymore. In fact, I've been preparing for you. You're right. You're you not better, gonna cry you anymore because you're already out of tears. You you should be ready to cry, sir. I I I hope that your ego can handle a, a, a Josh. loss. Winners don't cry. Okay, well, you know what? That's it for the interview. Thank you so much for the time. Uh, yeah, it was I, lovely being here. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to face you next week. Right. This week. This week, I'm sorry. This week, this week. Okay, this is Lounge Posting signing off.